focus. There we go. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am packing for a trip that I'm going to be taking tomorrow. I probably should have packed a week ago. I work and I procrastinate so I'm packing the night before. I am taking a trip to the Everglades. We're going to be kayaking a 70 mile kayak trip through the Everglades and everything that we are bringing is gonna be on our kayaks. So I'm gonna take you guys along on this adventure and show you guys what I'm gonna pack for this trip. The first thing I'm gonna bring on this trip is a tent, a one person tent. It's pretty compact so I can put it in a wet bag to make sure that it does not get wet because that is one thing that would be miserable is if I got my sleeping items wet. So my tent is a really important component of this trip for me. <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna be packing is a sleeping bag. I won't be bringing a pillow because that's just extra stuff that I need to bring. So I'm just taking my sleeping bag and I'll probably bring a sheet to put over it as well. I don't know how cold it's gonna be. I uh, haven't done much research about this uh, trip, so uh, we'll see. Obviously, I'm gonna bring my camera equipment so I can bring you guys along. So I have a GoPro um, and then my Canon G7X that I'm gonna be bringing. Um, so let's hope it all works out. The next thing I'm gonna be packing is a change of clothes. Um, and this is just for if my clothes get wet and if it's cold, I don't wanna be miserable. So I'm bringing one extra pair of clothes. Yes, you heard that right. One extra pair of clothes for the entire trip. For me, I'm gonna be wearing a bathing suit under underneath my clothes. It's just a little more comfortable for me. The next item I'm gonna be bringing is a poncho. It's a brand that I bought. It's just Walmart, a Walmart poncho. Let's see, what's this what the YouTubers do? Um, it's pretty cheap. I think I got this one for $3. You can get them for 99 cents. Um, and this is just in case it starts raining to protect my clothes, again, for comfort. And I just have an emergency poncho. See that. Next thing I'm gonna be bringing is a whistle. And this is just, you know, for safety and an important thing to have when you're kayaking in the wilderness long distance. And this is just a personal preference for myself, um, but these emergency packs, but these little emergency packs um, to get some vitamins um, in my system while I am kayaking. You know, feminine products, that's just part of it. You never know. Better to be prepared than to not be. Next thing I have is this little Fisher hat. And I borrowed this from my brother who is military. Uh, he had an extra one. <laughs> I don't know if I can. He had an extra one, so I'm gonna be taking this along with me um, for some protection, um, cause that's gonna be really important to keep my face protected from the sun. Some carabiners, and this is just good for clipping things on to your kayak or keeping things together. So I always have some of these whenever I go really any anywhere camping kayaking these are always a good thing to have and i got these from walmart they're pretty inexpensive i think like two dollars or something two or three dollars this thing i have is my spoon this is like a long lengthy spoon also got at walmart for i think 88 cents so you can eat your food the next thing i bought is um bug spray i got this kind of travel size one i don't know if it's gonna focus this travel size one from Walmart. And this is just a great size, I think, for traveling to not take up too much room, especially since we have limited room because we're on a kayak. The next thing I bought is an emergency blanket. 
And the reason why I got this is it's just good to have in general. I think it's, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. So I just keep it. It's small, compact, easy to pack. So I have that. Ba -ba -bum. Toilet wipes. Yeah. You know, you're in the wild. You're using the bathroom. You need to keep clean and fresh. And obviously I'm not gonna be showering on this trip, so it's a nice way to freshen up. The next thing is a mosquito net. We're gonna be in the swamps. There's gonna be mosquitoes, so it's always a good thing to have a net. I love coffee. And I'm trying to not drink as much coffee. Um, that's my goal for 2021, but it has not happened yet. So I got these little instant coffee. Um, I just got Folger because I don't really care. Um, I don't think I'll care on this trip, but little Folger instant coffees. Um, and I'm just bringing a few of them to pack for the morning to give me a little energy boost. Um, and then I have some of these tiny little creamers that I'm gonna br be bringing as well for the coffee. Um, I have this little cup that will be for my soups and for my coffee and to drink out of if I need it, as well as a headlamp. Obviously, I am bringing my toothbrush and toothpaste because that's very important to me. Um, the next thing that I'm bringing for me that is very important is Biofreeze. Oh, Biofreeze, there we go. And this stuff is a godsend. I used to use it when I was a dancer. I would use it when I had sore muscles or on my feet when I did point. It's just amazing. And I have trained a little bit for this trip and my muscles were very sore. So this is something that I'm definitely bringing. Um, along with that, I don't have it here. I'm gonna be packing it, but I am bringing some ibuprofen because your girl is gonna be struggling and I just need the support. Also gonna be bringing some sunscreen. I have Neutrogena Sensitive Skin uh, sunscreen and then some Banana Boat um, sunscreen just for my body. Um, like I said, gotta protect my skin from the sun. A little tiny deodorant. The next thing I'm gonna be bringing is some gloves. Like I said, it might be really cold. I don't really know. So it's better to be prepared than to not be. So I have some gloves. Um, the next thing I have is an extra net, some wool socks that my brother let me borrow, and a knife because you never know what you're gonna need to cut in the wilderness. The next thing I bought is UV protected sunglasses. These are not the most stylish things in the world, but they will do the job. I got this little 74 piece kit. I just thought it was cute, <laughs> mostly. Um, but it also has like um, waterproof matches, some things for like, first aid so it's just like a nice little thing to put in the bag and the tin is really nice too so they got me also going to be bringing chapstick i'm going to bring be packing all of that in two wet bags and these are what the wet bags look like i got these at walmart as well that's it for my items that i'm going to be bringing um i will have obviously a pair of clothes that i'm going to be wearing on the trip um but the next thing i'm going to be packing is food um, so I brought about, I'm going to bring about four gallons of these and then some water bottles and mountain house meals. Um, so these are for like free, I think these are freeze dried meals that you can take, um, with you camping and they stay fresh until you heat some water up and then put it in the bag to eat. Um, so those are all the items that I'm going to be bringing on this trip. Um, and then I'll show you everything once it's all packed up. All right. This is everything that I've packed. Here's Goldie. Goldie, are you sad I'm leaving? And we are leaving tomorrow around 8 o'clock. So I will see you then. Bye-bye.